Okay, so if you've seen my Instagram stories lately, you're probably confused. Why is Luna all over America? Why is she constantly at all these concerts? And I can't really tell you that, but I can tell you that I have been in and out of the MGK tour. I'd like to say I'm taking over for Devin Lee Carlson and her lost tour GF vlogs RIP. I've been having so much fun and I've vlogged bits and pieces. So here is the little tour vlog for you guys. Okay, I'm about to leave to the airport now. I gotta get my airport fit on, but listen to like what happened today. I don't know why, but I don't know if this is OCD or part of my OCD, but my whole life, if I have an idea of like an outfit to wear, let's say like I saw this shirt at the store like a month ago and I need to wear it to an event tomorrow or school. It had to be like school tomorrow. I would need to get it. And if I didn't get it and I'd already imagined myself wearing the outfit, I would freak out. And that happened again to me today, which always happens when I fly. And I think it's just some type of like flight anxiety. I had the idea to wear this certain set from this certain brand and I knew the owner of the place and like I made like me and my friend go stop two times to see if he was there and then he was there and then he didn't have it so he was gonna like say that he could uber it to me tonight right before my flight like literally and this was a loungewear like a zip up and hoodie and I was so set on the idea and now like he actually couldn't get it to me and I had a freak out like I don't know what that is someone explain it to me but I don't know if I'm crazy if anyone feels the same way but you probably don't but anyway we gotta go to the airport I'm a little bit late taking a red eye okay here's the new airport fit this is a cherry hoodie. Sweatpants are supreme. And then I just got these new Jordan 4s that are so cool. The craziest thing just happened. As I was walking out of my house, I get a notification that my flight got canceled. And I had a mental breakdown because you guys know I'm struggling mentally today. After like an hour of crying and finding flights that were all being canceled because for some reason everyone is canceling flights to Miami right now. I find a JetBlue one that has a layover in New York which gets me in tomorrow at like 3 and it's right now 1am. And so I just know I'm not going to sleep. It's a mess but at least I have a flight and I'll make the show tomorrow. Traveling is not for me. got to the hotel and went straight to bed but we we're on the way to the venue and this is my fit I'm wearing just this little leather skirt a little graphic tee and I got my yerba mate trying to wake me up and the set times look at these snacks whoa ready Good morning. We're going to the pool. This view is crazy. I don't know what day it is or where I am, but this life ain't for me. <laughs> this life ain't not for me. Hey, okay, we're at the Birmingham, Alabama show right now. Uh, we did Miami, and then we went to Atlanta, which was the craziest show because Avril Lavigne just came on the tour. I'm the worst vlogger ever, but we drove overnight, and now we are here in Alabama for the show tonight. Um, I kind of gave up on my fits. My fit last night was the best fit for sure, but now, like, I didn't even pack for this. I didn't know I was staying this long, so now I'm just wearing whatever. Like, I don't even care anymore, but I'm wearing a little black tank. These pants are very cool. They're Rick Owens. I'm wearing my Jordans and this, like, big flannel. It's giving tour groupie. It's giving... I don't even know anymore. I can't even think. You guys have watched my videos for a while, or you know me literally even just a little bit. You know that I need routine. I need sleep and this life just does not provide that for me you guys look what I have on my knee It's like that right now, but honestly, I'm having so much fun I'm listening to my favorite artists in the world experiencing this life like I never thought I would what the fuck What am I doing like this is crazy? I'm gonna try to vlog more though because I think this is such a cool like experience It's just not my experience, you know, so it's hard to vlog, but I'm gonna do it for you guys
this week I went to the dentist. Basically, I've been having a tooth that's been bothering me. It's my wisdom tooth growing in, one of them on the bottom. And I go into the office and they're like, oh yeah, you chose the perfect day. Like our oral surgeon's here. Like, let's just put you under, take them out. I was like, what the fuck? Like for the first time ever going under, like no. Poking out already, like we can just pull that one out. And they numbed me, it was terrible. And I'm still so swollen, you guys. Do you see this? I'm, I hate it, but whatever, it is what it is. Today is the day that I'm just getting everything done and packing for this next leg of the tour that I'm going to, which is in New York City. And I'm so excited because you guys know New York City Luna is the best Luna. So I fly out tomorrow and I'm staying for like five days. Right now we're at my hair appointment. Here's my inspo. We're going shorter today. Hey Quinn. Oh man, my hair is short. I just got home from getting my nails done. You're not ready. How insane is that? I'm obsessed. They're my favorite nails I've ever gotten in my life. Right now, I'm trying to outfit plan. I need you guys' help. Also, I just pulled out my stitches from my wisdom teeth on my own because I'm crazy. But <laughs> I called the doctor and he said it's fine. But like, why did I do that? This is like a little leather two-piece moment. <sighs> Another option. Like this is kind of a cute vibe. I don't know. We could pull her out. I don't even know anymore. What, what am I doing with these gloves? We're here. I'm always staying at the Bowery, which is my favorite hotel, and I always walk to this one coffee shop. Of course, I chose the loudest street to do this one, but I'm wearing this bag, this white pants, my fit, a brioche. Okay. I'm sitting in Washington Square Park right now. It's just like the best vibe ever. I feel like I belong here. I don't know, I just feel like LA does not serve me anymore. And it makes me really sad because like that's my home. I grew up there, but I think right now in my life, in my 20s, it's time for a little change. But it's a good thing I signed my one year lease in LA, just like the other day. I actually bought a random little composition book and I'm gonna just start writing stuff. I don't know, it's good. I really needed this little spark of inspiration. So humid. Well, good morning. Sitting on the balcony, enjoying a little cup of coffee. Today, we're just gonna shop around, but I'm just having the best time. Setting you guys up here while I get ready. A couple weeks ago, I dealt with a really bad rash all over my face like rashes all over my face and i didn't know what it was from i went to the dermatologist and they were like go to the allergist because clearly you're allergic to like something maybe it's like a cat go to the allergist i'm literally allergic to nothing then they were just like you probably used a new product like chemical i did it though i used like all my normal products they said that i have to only use vanna cream which is kind of like cetaphil like that kind of brand and i actually love it Kind of narrowed down my makeup routine after this whole thing happened so i'm just showing you flawless filter i love it next thing i take is this glossier concealer venti beauty contour stick it's in a very very light contour okay then i normally take the hula bronzer i don't know how to say this brand it's called bubel and it's in one of these little like spongy things and i take a brush to blend it okay then we have the charlotte tilbury beauty wand highlighter this is my favorite product of all time. This is the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. They literally stay up all day. Next, I take this cookie um, highlighter a little bit on my finger in my inner corner. Ooh. And then I like to just do a little brown shadow liner. So I have this little Sephora eyeshadow. It's just brown and an angled brush. What is wrong with me? 
Then I curl. That's my makeup today. Do I wear mascara? I'll wait till tonight to put mascara on. I'm not doing anything crazy right now, so my outfit isn't like the coolest thing, but let me show you. I'm wearing this little blue schoolgirl skirt and just a black top. Little Oxfords. <sighs> Whatever. I'm just going to a store. <laughs> Okay, we're here at the MSG show. I'm gonna show you my fit. My makeup, I did a little bit of like a heavier black shadow line. I don't even know what we're trying to go for it with these vibes, but this bodysuit is Rick Owens vintage, which I think is so cool. Definitely different for me. Um, what is this sticking out? Like, have you ever seen me do that? Never. Wearing little gloves because, you know, it's just so chilly. The skirt I got from a thrift shop, but the boots, you guys. Oh my God. How cool. So that's my fit. That's the vibes right now. I'm very excited to see the show. My sister's coming and she's the biggest Avril fan in the world. So I'm really happy that I get to give her that experience. That's the fit. Okay, let's talk about the night. It was so crazy. It was Madison Square Garden, it was sold out. I literally just had so much fun. Everyone did so good. We went to the after party, which was at Catch, and we got there and it was just like so hectic. And MGK smashed a glass on his face. Um, I was standing right under him. I had like glass in my shirt. There was like blood in my hair. Like he was dripping blood everywhere. It was actually really scary. It's just a very crazy life. What the fuck? How did I get here? I don't know. I leave tomorrow, which is really sad because I love New York and I don't want to go home at all. But that was my night. I'm going to eat my breakfast that I ordered before I have to go to the airport in an hour. <sighs> It seems to be that this time of year I get, I don't know if it's a seasonal like depression thing. Basically, every time around this like time of year, I just feel so uninspired, unmotivated. I have no desire to work. I have no desire to even try to keep up my YouTube channel or my brand or my Instagram. I feel like it's all just dead. And it's like, okay, why the fuck am I even doing any of this or posting if it's just gonna get no views and no likes? I think I've been in that rut for a while now. Now, and I know that it's rooted in like a deep depression of mine I think the more and more it happens and the more and more I just don't the more stressed and guilty I feel that just makes me feel like even worse and then I come into these situations I'm completely losing myself if I do choose to get lost in all this like exciting life you know obviously it's like so cool why the hell would I go home to my sad little house and stress all day about making and editing a YouTube video when I could be on this like tour I'm forcing myself to do it because I know that I just can't keep running away from my problems as much as I want to. As fun as all this is, I am definitely losing a side of myself that I just cannot lose. I worked so freaking hard to build the platform I have and to build the life I have. I got here today and I'm with the people that I am today because of who I am inside, which is like Luna, we all know Luna, she's a very grounded person and it's just so easy for me to get lost. I think I'm just not confident in myself, but I'm trying to change it. I'm just deeply depressed, I think. And I got off medication and it's just like been hard to adjust, but I do still want to try doing it naturally. I, even though it's so hard, I wish there was another remedy, but thanks for watching. I hope to make more of these for now. I love you guys to the moon and back. I'll see you next week, maybe. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm.